When are you gonna do the Maya uh, avatar? Where's Maya? Where's the Maya avatar video? We want to see Maya. Maya. I personally Maya. would love to Maya. see Maya. Hars, we wanna see Maya. <sighs> okay, we gotta do a Maya video. Booga booga. Okay, this was probably one of the most requested avatars in my avatar showcase series, so let's transform into a Maya. Boom! And show you guys what this unique avatar has to offer, but what even is a Maya? Honestly, we better ask a professional about this Maya avatar, so, um, Brookie, can you please help me with this somewhere? <laughs> Hi, I'm Brookie Cookie VR, a professional Maya user. Maya is, like any other avatar in Parsible's avatar series, a known booth model created by Kyubi. Now besides Maya, Kyubi also created very well-known avatars like Kokoa, Mo, and Koyuki. I'm pretty sure you've seen at least one of these avatars in VR chat or on social media especially on Twitter, we're now called X. Maya is also one of the top three most sold avatars on Booth and is often used inside VR chat. You can see that it costs you 5,000 yen, which is around 30 to 50 cookies. I mean, dollars, depending on the conversion rate. But trust me, you're gonna wanna spend more than that on accessories for Maya alone. From different clothing, like an octopus costume, eye textures, skin textures, which also include tattoos and different types of makeup, face tracking, exclusive booba physics, and uh, <clears throat> not so safe for work things. Yeah, Mayas do get a little quirky at night. But one thing's for sure, no Maya looks just like the other due to the crazy amount of customization. I'm pretty sure you've seen this avatar in VR chat at least once, since it really is quite a popular base model. Mayas can be very different from other avatars depending on the amount of customization that you put onto it. Not only that, but Mayas can have a different effect on people depending on the user who wears that type of avatar. And now, unite these two aspects and mix them together. Boom! Nothing can really be compared with Maya except gremlins. Uh, yeah. Also, Maya is pretty skinny compared to the super buff monster version of Celestia. Damn! Now we're getting into the question on how to become a Maya in VR and as always my recommendation is to purchase the main avatar base to not only customize it with all the assets you like but also support the creator of the Maya base and help them create more avatars that are similar or have that booth avatar feeling. The other option would be, and let me do a drum roll please, <laughs> Prismix Avatar Search. Simply look for Maya and you'll be faced with a variety of different public versions of that avatar that you're also able to customize, though it's obviously better to go to the first option I mentioned. And to summarize it all up, Maya is one of the top three most sold avatars on Booth and offers over 2,800 assets and accessories that you can slap onto your Maya main base. Not only that, but Mayas can be used in a variety of ways in the virtual space and are a perfect avatar to build upon. So should you go into debt building your own Maya? Absolutely! Bye! <laughs>